my new life is. Am I live again? Okay, that looks kind of good. Yeah, take two. I don't know what the hell happened there. That was really bizarre. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I'm not quite sure exactly what happened there. Let me copy the link and I'll put it in Discord. Alright, let me put it in here. And everyone. New link. Ugh. I swear, YouTube, I did not need this shit today. Okay. Yes, okay, good. I Honestly, YouTube just needs to get rid of this whole individual URLs for streams and just give us a cocktails consoles slash live. It would be so much easier. Like, why does YouTube have to be so far behind the curve? Hey, Cody, what's up? All right, let me make sure that chat's updating over here, too. Okay, good. That's updating here. And we just have the bread to deal with. Okay. Thank you for coming back. So I added the, wow, it's really thick now. I've added the pectin to our uh, marmalade jam. I really don't know what the difference is between all that. I think this is ready now to go into our pretty little canister. I don't have a funnel, so we're going to do this the hard way. There we go. That's clean. Okay. This is gonna be pretty messy. We're gonna do our best. gonna look so pretty what did i miss uh we put the pectin in to our jam marmalade i don't know what the difference is and now this is ready to go in the fridge and we're ready to finish our bread oh this is gonna be so yummy now i just need some mascarpone cheese remind me folks i need to get a funnel <laughs> This will continue to thicken up as it cools down. So it looks a little loose right now. It'll thicken up. There's some sugar in here that has not melted. I think. I can't tell if it's that or the pectin. It's very hard to tell. Well, it's made a fuck ton of jam. Do you know what else would taste really good with this? Some nice Greek yogurt. Mmm. Like, I just want all the things now. Like, I want to put this on top of cheesecake. Ooh, that would be really good. There needs to be blood orange cheesecake. We may have to make that. For the microwave jam? Sure. Honestly, I did not think it was going to turn out this well. I am pleasantly surprised. Really easy, really quick. 
and boom. Okay, I think huh, the hair on me is driving me nuts. Um, I think you can do this with pretty much any fruit. Which is good, because I want to make some Meyer lemon jam. Let's see. Oh, look at that. Just enough. Woo! Booyah. No! Damn it. Yeah, I need to clean this up. Okay, let's clean up around the edge. Make sure that's all nice and clean. So we don't want this sticking. There we go. Now I'm gonna throw this in the fridge. Yeah, the consistency is pretty... I'm pretty amazed by it. Hold on. Taste test. Mmm. Oh god, this is good. I like this. Let me clean up a little bit and then we will get our bread going. Just because I'm running out of counter space. thoroughly clean these because I'm gonna let my dishwasher do that later. I just wanna make sure I get all the big parts of it off. You can test it with a cold plate. Oh, that's a cool tip. I like that. So you guys might have thought me crazy for adding in the crushed red pepper, but I'll tell you what, it definitely adds something to it. It doesn't taste spicy at the onset. So on the onset, I'm getting more of the sugar than I am getting the uh, sour, which is a little bit of a disappointment. Um, the sour does start to come through, and I think the longer it sits in the fridge, I think the balances will shift a little bit. But you get the sugar first, then you get a little bit of the sour, and then the heat just kind of comes in at the end, so it's not like heavy sugar all the way through. Yes, everything is back on. I don't know what the hell YouTube is doing, but then again, they're probably getting a lot of people watching stuff on there because what else are we gonna do? stuff in my dishwasher so I can run this as soon as we're done you definitely you you too and that should take care of that all right oh yeah <laughs> this thing Sweet and spicy. Oh, I love sweet and spicy. P. 
peach and jalapeno jam. That sounds delicious. Like, I want that. Okay. Now for the last tricky part, we gotta shape this bread. Come here, boy. Boom. All right, now it told me I have to punch it down. Basically what I'm doing is I'm helping just to even out the bubbles that are in here. Kind of feels a little bit like pizza dough. All right. Now what's weird is it's not having me put any kind of egg wash on here, which I would assume would give us better browning, but eh, we're just going with what the recipe says. All right, so we're gonna cut this in half. And these are gonna be our baguettes. No, 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 don't stick to the bottom, you bastard. That's okay, we'll fix this. We've got this. Ugh. I thought the parchment paper was gonna be enough to take care of it. Apparently I was wrong. You sit there for a minute, I need to get your sister. There we go. You don't normally need egg whites to make brown bread. Oh, oh no, I wasn't gonna use whites. I was going to use um, yolks. Yeah, you're supposed to punch it down in the bowl, but I want you guys to see kind of how it turned out. All right. Now they did say to stretch it out a little bit. This is gonna look pornorific. So stretch, pull, stretch, pull. Like you're making taffy. Not doing the other thing. Well, it's covered in oil, so maybe that'll help. Gotta pull out that end piece there. Da, da, da. Okay, let's form this together. And pull. Seam, I need you to close. There we go. So I'm gonna do my best to try to form this. And whatever it will be, it will be. Because at the end of it all, it's gonna be bread and that's honestly all I care about. So if there's any French patissiers in here, just stop watching. You're not gonna be happy with what comes next. It's very taffy-ish, yes. Okay. be we're not going for prettiness we're going for it's bread they have to fight someone again however I am gonna put some salt on the top there we go 
All right, let me grab two ice cubes. So what the recipe says we need to do is we need to put these in the oven and right before we close the door, we're supposed to throw two ice cubes into the pan underneath and the steam's supposed to help the crust come out really good. Oh, you have bubble tea, you lucky. Here we go. in the oven. I can calm down now. <sighs> yeah, sorry about that, Melissa. I don't know what the heck happened. Um, YouTube decided to have a seizure, and I couldn't get the stream on that URL to come back, so I had to do a whole new one. Okay, now we have 15 minutes until we can enjoy some bread. You know what I think this calls for? I think this calls for a cocktail. the taffy bread. Thank you, Cody. Have a good night, dude. We'll be back tomorrow with Multiplayer Monday. Probably use up the last of this bottle. Yep. Thankfully, I stocked up. Not even showing your subscription page? What the hell is YouTube doing? We'll make a big one. It's hard times. We need alcohol. Unfortunately, I'm all, all out of Grand Marnier, so we're gonna have to do without. <laughs> so instead, we're gonna take our orange wheel. For those of you guys who saw the Catherine episode, Look at that color. Let's see cranberries do that. And then some lime juice.
Oh, a little tart. It needs the Grand Marnier. But like I said, I'm all out. So, desperate times and all that. Ah, oh, that's good stuff. Whoo! All right, what else can I clean in the meantime? I really want to check. Well, it's baking. <laughs> They're gonna look like um, some inbred bread, but it's gonna be bread. Mmm. Thank you, Ama. Oh, it's super tart right now. Hold on. I hate using simple syrup because it doesn't bring any flavor, but you gotta do what you gotta do. And yes, I know I could make this from scratch, but it's a pain in the ass and I don't wanna. Yeah, see, Bill read my mind. He's a little more. And come out and dance, that would make fantastic croutons. Uh, they're puffing up at least a little bit in the um, oven. But you'll see what I mean by inbred bread. Yeah, they're gonna look like big hot dog rolls. That got into a knife fight with Jason. Mmm. See, Ahmed, now you're making me want to make uh, a Caesar salad from scratch. Oh, that sounds really good. You guys want to do that next week? Oh, I missed it. What, what do you guys want to do for next week's cooking stream? Now that a lot of us are having to cook from home, or a lot of us haven't had to before, are there any ingredients you guys would like to see featured? Any particular dishes? Let me know. Whilst I clean this... Yeah! Well, they're phallic-y shaped. <laughs> they will make good hoagie rolls, that's true. I'd say we make some cheesesteak sandwiches. The problem is, is that I have to have the meat special ordered. And right now, they're not focused on that. That looks better. How are we doing on time? Six minutes. What do I have in my pantry? Alcohol, cereal, a tiny little bit of pasta, because that's cleaned out. I show you guys how to make pasta from scratch, but unfortunately I don't have a pasta roller, and flour is still, unfortunately at this point, still hard to get my hands on. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I bought stuff for dinners this week. I got swordfish uh, with couscous and corn. Um, what else am I making this week? I got the swordfish. I'm also doing chicken in a mustard sauce with uh, some uh, roasted Brussels sprouts. So that's what I have in my fridge for dinner. Beyond that, it's mostly like alcohol and lime juice. <laughs> Sardines and ramen. Sardines actually taste really good when you put them into a tomato sauce, but chop them up nice and fine. I think it's, what is it, Putanesca that uses sardines? Even if you think you don't like sardines, they do amazing things with the tomato sauce. Ooh, lobster rolls. If I get my hands on some lobster. But yeah, I don't really have a lot in my pantry. I've only ever been, I've only been stocking like exactly what I need for the week.
So yeah, so if you guys have any ideas for recipes or ingredients to use. Ooh, crab would be good. I could think crab could work. I don't know, I'm not normally a big lobster fan, but in a lobster roll, it's good because the toughness, comparatively speaking to like crab, works well for a lobster roll. Oh, dear God. It's bread. It's morphed, but it's bread. Oh, Lord. Hats off to anyone who makes bread because, dear God. I'm almost embarrassed to show you this. It's, it's not pretty. <laughs> well, my mom will be happy I didn't use all of her flour, so. I'll at least be able to get that back to her. to go man and I love things tart now why does the Grand Marnier fix this is because the Grand Marnier itself is a liqueur which means it already has a fair amount of sugar in it oh by the way this week uh, the Death Road to Canada video unfortunately now gets moved a couple weeks out I have the I have the footage done it's just the editing took way too long so this Wednesday we are going to have our Resident Evil 2 remake cocktail where I go back and remake the cocktail I made from the original Resident Evil 2. So that will be this Wednesday. Next Wednesday, we'll have our Resident Evil 3 remake cocktail. So you're going to see me all, I almost said Claire Redfield out. You're going to see me all Jill Valentine out. And I'm very excited to do that one. So those are our next upcoming cocktail videos. You forgot the yeast. <laughs> oh, thank you. That that makes me feel better. Mmm, pancake sounds good too. <gasps> Man, the house. Seriously, what is this? Oh, there you are. God damn hair. The biggest one that I ever screwed up, I was making lemon bars. And I had to double the recipe, and I doubled everything except the amount of sugar in the crust. Oh, those were some bitter tasting lemon bars. <laughs> make sure this is current current there we go okay uh what else is coming up 30 seconds so this monday uh we're gonna hold off on death or to canada we're actually gonna be playing uh jackbox again because i think you guys kind of enjoy that especially right now probably the week after we're gonna do a round of uh death or to canada just to mix it up a little bit because every week jackbox can get really boring for all parties involved uh, but if there's some other uh, multiplayer games that you guys come across that would be great for people to play, especially if they're free to play, let me know because I'd love to add them to the rotation. 
I was freaking out. What is wrong with this bread? <laughs> oh, here we go. Bitch, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, is our friend. <laughs> oh my god. Look to my left, it's on open packet of yeast. That'll do it. Oh lordy. Well, it sounds like it's pretty good, even if it does look. Yeah. Oh, you guys can't even see how horrible this is. Hold on. Check this out. That one at least came out halfway decent. Then there's that one. I don't know what happened. But yes. There is my inbred bread. Yeah. That bread's family tree did not fork. Yeah, it was too dry. But, thankfully, at least it's bread. Which means, time to get the butter. use a bread knife for this. I don't have one, so. We're gonna use the most serrated knife that I have. It is a pre-opened hoagie roll. Exactly. So we're gonna cut this one because it looks more like what bread should actually look like. Yeah, I just didn't want to risk it. Let's see how this interior turns out. You know? The interior actually looks pretty good. Let's cut off a good swath there. So better than my non-existence bread. <laughs> you burnt your cast iron pan. Ouch! How'd you do that? Okay. Whew. It's a little gummy on the inside. I should have let this rest a bit longer, but... It's TV, so we're going to butter these suckers up with a little bit of butter and olive oil mix, because I like that for the flavor. And then we're going to put our preserves on. Come on. Now for this, I think I'm just going to use a spoon because it's not quite set yet. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's gonna need some time to sit. But it looks beautiful. Yeah, we could always toast it in the pan, but it's starting to get a little bit on the late side. Which, by the way, you know what else tastes really good when you toast it in a pan? Cake. Come here, you. Mmm. Mmm. I see. Oh god. Cook my dumplings a little too long. Mmm. Oh no. You have to reseason. Yeah. Sometimes that has to happen. Mmm. It's a little on the dense side. I think if I let the yeast proof a little bit more, like you guys said, it would have fixed the texture. It wouldn't have been as dense. That way the steam had someplace to go. But the flavor is really good, especially with that jam. Oh. Mm-hmm. Exactly, Alma. Mm. But it is quite yummy. And quite filling, too. And now, chase it down with some vodka. So, before we wrap up, any suggestions for next week's episode? I swear Blood Orange makes the best jam. It's so good. Oh well, the music ended just in time. Ha <laughs> ha! No suggestions? Okay. Well, don't worry. We have Discord open for anyone to put suggestions in there of what we're going to do for next Sunday. Tomorrow, Jackbox. Um, 7 o'clock. I should be able to hit 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock uh, p.m. PST is when we're starting. You guys can come play. If you haven't already yet, you want to hit the subscribe button so it shows up in your feed. That would be awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the likes. And I will see you, awesome people, tomorrow at 7. Bye, guys!